presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to John in Orlando. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, good afternoon to you. How are you? I'm doing great, man. I want to thank you, first of all, before I ask you about the thought, uh, you and Tim Ward and all the gang at DFNN, I had a really, really good year after the October call you guys made. My 401k is up 72%. Congratulations, of, man. A uh, couple of things I made with Coinbase and other stocks that I made, and I've had a good, good year. And we appreciate you growling and prowling with us, man. That's a beautiful thing. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Hey, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best. Take action on your ideas. This is a great card. Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. You have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon that idea, there'd be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 71, NASDAQ down 39, S&P's off two. Gold, gold contract down $1.60, trading at 2,035 an ounce. We had silver down four cents, $22.88 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 69 cents. $78.04 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down seven ticks, trading 111.03. The 30-year, down four ticks at 119.22 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now, trading, where are you? Where did you just hide? <laughs> it was down about 145 ticks. Where would you go? There we go. Uh, down 142 ticks, trading 103,432, euro at 108, yen 148, British pound at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, let's go into the futures first. You get a flat market out here today. You've added a small spread in the, in the S&Ps. We've gone from 48.98 to 48.49.34. Uh, it's not a bad spread, actually. It's 36 points. That being said, coming into the close, I expect what you're going to see here is you're going to try to get to higher price. You know, where, where we're at right now is that where we're at, folks, is that that was the down bar that was established out here um, right after noon this morning. We've been on three bars here trying to take it out thus far. There's not... It, we haven't done it. The re now, the reason that I'm saying that we're going to go into the highs versus the lows has to do with when the last time we got down to the lows, which is about an hour ago, that you can see that there's, there's just no sellers down here. You know, it's not that there's not a lot of buyers, but the, when there's no sellers, it doesn't take much to go higher. And then if we take this and put this on a weekly, what you're going to see is that we're already at a higher high on a weekly. So when you finish up the day, traders are going to be looking at that. They're going to say, oh, okay, I see. You take a look at the SPY. Well, the SPY hit a high this week of the four, the 489. Oh, it's just today, 489.12. And right now you're at 487.84. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the Qs. What we have out here with the Qs today is that you're backing down. You're down two bucks. That being said, though, look what look you're almost coming into. You, well, you're coming into uh, 44 million. You've done 29 thus far. This still wants higher price, too. And then if we take this, let me just put this on a weekly. Yeah, that's interesting, too. Even with a down day today, we're still going to have a higher high on the weekly inside of the NDX 100. And if we go inside the NDX 100 today, look at the strength versus the weakness. 
You know, you get Airbnb up 5.7, 5, 5 Mercado Libre 3, Charter 2, taken away from it, Intel. Intel's down 12%, Clack's down to 6%. Uh, what's that, General Foods? Oh, no, Global Foundries, down 4.7%. We go into the note and bond market. Now, notes and bonds have been trying to get off the lows. And, you know, each day, just as the market has been going back and forth, so has in the note and bond market. So what we did out here today is that you got to a price point of the 111.18. You only did 1.3 million contracts, which is way too light. And bottom line, gave it up in price. So we haven't had any movement for the last uh, six days inside of the 10-year, meaning... You know, it's a consolidation going sideways. Right now, the 10-year is yielding 4.15. And we go into the gold market. We take a look at gold. That's also been, well, with the gold, what gold has done is that we rejected the lower price yesterday. You know, we're not getting any follow-through through. through. That, that's, the, that's the bottom line, is that you, you, yesterday, you come down, you come down with 197,000 contracts. You're going into 250 rejected lower price and then all of a sudden today it's like okay you go to 228 you can't hold 228 the reduction in volume is huge out here today so that's not a good in indication that you want higher price and then we go over to the dollar we take a look at the dollar and what we have with the dollar is that also been, been on a sideways movement for quite some time now two weeks um, and you know bottom line is that if you get a break downtown, that's where the that S&P and the commodities want to go high. You get a break uptown, it's just going to be just the opposite. And it's, uh, it's vacillating right around these numbers. You know, it almost reached the 0 .50. The 0 .50 is the trading at the 10, approximately the 104 area. On uh, Tuesday, we almost got there. You know, but it still has a real good shot to get there. Let's that, put it that way. That's, that's how this is setting up right now. Uh, Tesla just continues to go lower. The thing that's so interesting about Tesla, so, you know, of course, Musk blew his brains out on buying Twitter, but when you actually look at Tesla, the bottom line is if he had kept the shares, right, you know, I mean, he made so much money, it's insane. He was selling up here at 400, folks. Tesla right now is trading 182 and wants to trade down to the one. Yeah, it looks like it's going to trade down to 101 again. You know, so. It's pretty amazing when you think about uh, Tommy, you know, was talking about the, the pay package again and all this. It'd be really interesting. He's gonna, he ends up getting the same type of pay package, but yet the stock start now in the hundreds somewhere, just ram it up to 400 again, take the bread, exercise the options, turn around, and hopefully don't blow your brains out on, another, on buying another Twitter, because that's exactly what he's done. There's no two ways about that. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 62. The Nasdaq's down 38. S&Ps are off two and a half. We have the gold contract uh, trading flat, basically 2,035. And stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industries right now uh, up 66. Nasdaq's uh, down 34. S&Ps are off uh, 2. Now, let's take a look at this chart because it's all about the yields, folks, and where the yields are going. And, you know, the next meeting is this Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. That's when you're going to get a statement. So the chart you're looking at right now, this is the 10-year yield. Right now we're at 4.41. You can see at the very top there, that was 5.07. That was established on, uh, I think, October 27th. Maybe, yeah, October 27th, okay? So you can see what we've done here. Let's put it this way for a second. You've done, you know, a bounce. It never made the 0 0.382. We're at... 4.14. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this out further because I'm really curious as to I'm gonna bring this let me bring this 10 years. Okay, cool. Okay. So see this this makes sense kind of where we stopped also, right? Because when you take a look at this, now we'll take a look at this here. So what you're gonna see is the amount of congestion that is at this level because of the way that we traded from, this is a monthly, yeah, this is a monthly. We almost traded, uh, we go, let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, okay. So when you, when you go back 16 months, you're going to see that, you know, we traded for eight months at this level. So that's going to take quite a bit to break down. That's, that's real, technically that's how this is set up right now. So... We'll see how that uh, shakes out in the next, uh, you know, few months. I, I suspect what we're going to see is the statement on the 31st is going to be very bullish, meaning bullish in the context of they feel, well, uh, let's see, you don't, when they talk about, yeah, bullish in the context that they think they can come down on rates. You know, because you, you had the PCE come out today, you had some numbers come out today that are basically saying, hey, we're still going down. Um, you know, the real, the real catch is, is that when you hear that, then all of a sudden you hear that rates go up in the, the T in New Jersey, 15%. 
car rates are going up, you know, 30%. Uh, there's going to be things in the economy that are going to hit us um, that have, you know, implications inside that, you know. Uh, so my, my take is, though, that at this particular point, you're on the other side of the cycle. The real kicker is, do they come out with the first 25% rate cut on the March meeting? So the March meeting, let's see, so, so we get the January, get January 31st, which is next Wednesday. Then we get March 20th. Okay, so you got March 20th. And then the, the March 20th meeting, if that's the case, uh, there'll, there'll be some action, but, you know, because the bottom line is that right now we're at uh, 5.50, the Fed funds rate. That's where we're at. So there's plenty, it has plenty of room to get cuts going. That's, you know, and, and cuts don't have to be going in the context of, you know, going into recession. What you have, what you have seen, though, there's no doubt, like the Microsoft cuts this morning from Activision, well, uh, it's Microsoft that's saying that they're laying off 1,900 folks in the gaming division. But that, what that's all about, folks, is that, you know, you buy a company. Once you buy the company, inside of that price of the company, you know right off the bat that you have duplicates, and the duplicates are going to be gone in about a heartbeat. That's what that Activision deal is. That being said, though, is that you get Salesforce is laid off, Google's laid off. They don't, there's, there's some, not thousands of people, but... There's been hundreds of people laid off uh, very big jobs. And, you know, that's, that's eaten into the deal. The, the, what has changed dramatically is this, is that from where the pandemic was, meaning between the employee and the employer, that has changed dramatically, meaning the aspect, you just can't quit a job right now and go get another job in about two seconds. Just, that's just not there. That's just not there. Um, you know, there, there seems to be... Uh, plenty of plenty of folks that not that they're out looking for uh, work, but there's definitely the scope of the amount of people that are out there and the quality of the people are definitely bigger than they were two years ago. Yeah, there's it's just it's there, and that's gonna that's gonna keep going, man. That's that's going to keep going because what is going to happen, you know, the, A the AI <laughs> into certain industries is going to hit it fast and furious. You know, if you if you have the. Um, let me go to Jose for us. Jose, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. Salutations from Lakeland. Yes. How you been, man? OK, not too bad. Uh, Tom. Make America great again. You've heard that expression. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Make America great again. Let's see. The stock market is at all-time highs. There are so many jobs created. The, Fed, the Federal Reserve cannot even lower interest rates safely. Yeah. What are we making great again? I'm just curious. I Listen, man, I get it. I get it. It's, and, well, you know, there's, there's, yeah. a, there's a stat out there, too, that it's pretty wild, that when they when you ask how are you doing and all us individually folks right we're doing fine well how is the country doing oh no it's not doing good it's like okay well i i don't know yeah. you know but yes it's it's one of those mantras man as long as it's said enough times um it, it makes a difference with you know people but i agree I, there's, there's no doubt man when you look at it it's like okay and the context, I, I can see the context, Jose, of and folks of the uh, when inflation kicked in with that, you know, twenty, well, let's say thirty percent, right? It's not that that has gone down. So, in the food aisles, that's still expensive, and I think that's yeah. that's that's a lingering effect. That's that's a big effect because everyone goes to the food aisles, and you know, if you have a little oh, bit more can, money. I, you can, I know what you're saying. They, 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 they can, you know, gas is going to fluctuate, vacillate, but food's going to remain high. Yeah, yeah, you know, so we'll see um, where it shakes out. But my, my take is that we're on the other side. So, so picture this, as Jose just said, you know, 
Okay, no, so so where where's the bad? Where's the bad right now? We know that high interest rates are bad, and that's hurting the housing market. Some people can't buy a house, some people can't, and all that. But the bottom line is that that's coming on the other side, also. Um, you know, so yeah, with rates. Uh, Tom, Fed, Fed, a quarter. You know, we'll get a courtesy quarter point drop. Uh, it can't t it look too political, too close to the elections next, no next November. So I'm thinking June, July, we'll get a complimentary quarter point cut. Yeah. Uh, yeah just to stay there, we'll come right back with Cadence Design. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials up 50, NASDAQ down 47, S&P's up 4.5. We're going to be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading up to 49. Nasdaq's down 54. S&P's are off 5.5. We're talking from uh, Jose uh, from Lakeland and CDNS. So we're going to be talking about Cadence Design. So, oh, this is a caged animal. This thing is a caged animal. Up, up, up. Uh, can, for Pete's sakes, can we get some down days on this thing? I don't know, man. I'm telling you, because when you hear what I'm going to tell you, it's crazy. Like, there's no doubt. You get Look at this long-term chart, folks, okay? This has been a one-way streak in an, mm -hmm. an amazing way, okay? And, you know, the bottom line is that they they design chips, man. That's the bottom line. They designed automated software. Um, 
And when 301, you, last, I hit 301 last week. Yeah, and it's, a, it's actually an ABC up to 337. When you, when you put, oh, that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, when you put this on a, on a monthly, you know, it, it took the, that B point out. And that's the conservative way of looking at it, too. I didn't take the very bottom of it. It's like, okay, this is a, it's an ABC up, man. Um, three now, third, earnings are coming out, Tom. Earnings are coming out like Feb 12. Yeah. So Around there. Right. Uh, they love jacking it, jacking it up ahead of earnings. All right. So what you're going to want to look at, you want to want to be looking at, as it's pushing into the highs, right? If that's you know, let's picture that you know, it's I mean, it's right off the highs right now. It's nothing, um, and you can see it's backing down with light volume. You see how this? I mean, we went up here on this, uh -huh. folks. Okay, with three, two point four million. Well, there's only eight hundred and thirty four thousand sellers today versus two point three million. That that's what you like to see, because it oh, just has that's to, what I want to hear. It has to yeah. recharge itself. Okay, get going. So as long as you see it, you know, before earnings coming, if it's pushing into that swing with volume, you get action, man, you know. And, and the, the swing point is? The, 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 on the ABC up, see, I'm taking the very the small one here. The, the small one, what, it, what ends up happening is that this actually took this out going all the way back into like four months ago. Um, okay. You know, so you can, I could get into another one, but it's like the numbers, are, it just doesn't, right now, that, that's the way to do it. You, okay. go, go for the okay, first it's one. A bunch, it's a bunch of institutions I've never even heard of. Uh, Bill's investment firm, you know, I, 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 don't, there's like, I don't know who they are. They own a ton of it, uh, percentage wise. But I've never heard of these firms that own it. These boutique boutique firms that uh, and that's the, what's, ha what's happening in the business in general is that when you see this whole deal about private credit, private equity, what has happened, folks, is that there's funds that are getting as large or actually they're larger than our banks already. Not not the J.P. Morgans of the world, okay? But that's that's what you're looking at. The amount of cash out here is insane. You know, and the amount of cash that's actually in private equity hands and private debt hands is insane too. You know, I mean this this wasn't this wasn't here twenty years ago. You know, the private equity was, but not debt equity. And huh. they just keep getting bigger and bigger, and the world keeps getting smaller and smaller because now what you have is whether it's Asia, the the Middle East, you know. Um, and in this particular case, because this is in the chip side of the business, people are, people are really yeah. understanding that the chips are going to run everything for a very That's long right. period of time. Yeah, a, a, two letters are going to get this market to 40,000 AI. It's a bunch of nonsense, whatever, but it's going to get the market up. So, Tom, uh, the, uh, the sales, home sales reports this morning, uh, everything's on fire, highest, highest level since 2020. Do you have a comment about that? Yeah, I think it's BS because, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm serious because, the, and with that, now this is where the percentages come in, folks, okay? Because we went down so low, right, you can see that, yeah, okay, the percentage up from that is good, okay, but this uh -huh. real estate market is still frozen, you know? Uh -huh. I think it's still frozen. I think, it, I, I think we're on the right side of it, okay, but... You know, we have, uh, you know, six months, eight months, year, year and a quarter. Um, you know, it, it, and most of the time what happens is that it starts slow, which is which start. And we're getting a lot more phone calls. We're getting a lot more, you know, uh, people looking at houses, really serious yeah. about houses. But this rate has to go down. The, the mortgage rate has to start hitting like the five and a half, and we're still at the like the yeah. 6.75 or something. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, when, when, when Donald Trump steps in, he's going to give the ultimatum to Fed Chairman Powell. Take a hike or get interest rates back down to 2.5%. Those are his choices. Yeah, <laughs> he probably will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Listen, you have Good a great deal. weekend, a safe week, Jose. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay. Um, it's all about rate structure, folks. That's the real bottom line. You know, you get yelling out here today. This was, this was kind of, she's almost taking the Alan Greenspan um, school of speech out here because let's see what she's saying. She's, uh, here she is right here. So 
She's saying, Secretary uh, Yellen said it's not clear yet where interest rates will settle after the volatility of the pandemic and the post-COVID recovery, suggesting a shift in her views on the issue over the past year. There are people who feel quite strongly that nothing fundamentally has changed, and they eventually settled back to levels that prevailed before the pandemic. Okay, so let's look at this for a second here. What is the levels? 10-year... Why... I I just, I actually forget the actual levels before the pandemic. But guess what? That's where this chart's going to come in in a two seconds. Okay, so we'll bring it back. What year are we in? Let's see, I bring it back five years. Was the pandemic, like, how, how many years ago was the pandemic? I must forget now. That's pretty wild. Yeah, one second. I need some help. Um... Yeah. Okay, so, thank you. Thanks, Dan. 2021, okay. So, 2021, yeah, I don't see that, man. Okay, so, okay, one second. There are people who feel quite strong that nothing fundamentally has changed and will eventually settle back to levels that prevailed before the pandemic. I don't, I don't see that. I mean, that, I'm looking at the rates before the pandemic, and you're talking about 1.1%. 1. 1 1.6 on the 10 year. Yeah. Hey, listen, that, that would be, that'd be fabulous if that's the case, but I'm looking at these things are going to settle in somewhere. And this is where this chart comes in. You see, you see this, we're at congestion right now. That's, that's stopping this, but see the big, the bottom of the, this level of congestion is 3.24. And that's where I think we're going. And if we're at 3.24, what ends up happening is that you are going to be at a 5.24 to 5.50 on a 30-year mortgage, and that'll open up the spigot in a, in a monster way. You know, the the equities themselves are ahead of themselves because if you take a look at the housing equities, you know, they're they're at highs, man. You know, Toll Brothers are at highs. They're they're at highs, and the, what the market's looking at there is that they know that they're on the right side of it, and what the market is betting on is that the rates are going to come down faster than even I'm talking about right now. Dow, Dow Industrials uh, up 39, Nasdaq's down 64, S&Ps are off 8. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 37, Nasdaq's down 67, S&Ps are off 8. Let's go take a look at the GDX, see where we're at with these gold stocks, okay? We've been going sideways forever. Uh... We look at this out here today, you still get, you know, because it's slightly, you know, we get sideways market. The GDX is down 12 cents, this is 28.13. We put it on the weekly, it's not really telling us much, you know, because with this, what had happened with the GDX, okay, it, the bottom line is that it had taken out its consolidation that had tried to take it out forever, failed once again, okay? Comes back inside it again. Now the bottom line is that uh, you know it has to get back up above this that whole level. If we go to the XAU and the HUI, you're going to see the same type of setup. XAU. It's quite clear, you know, looking at this consolidation. You take the consolidation out, and, I, and we, when we did take it out too, folks, okay, we took it out with volume, you know, so the bottom line is that when we were coming back down, yes, you're, you did reject lower price, but you came way back down too far. That's the bottom line, is that the, like the XAU shouldn't have got below the buck, thir, buck 20, and we're at a dollar 13, 113, and we went to 111, because the buck 20, is where we broke topside from, had the volume behind the move. Yeah, you get light volume on the way down. And this, this is what gold likes to do, too. It, it drives you up a wall, but the bottom line, is it is what it likes to do. Uh, hey, so we'll see how this uh, attacks it again. And the only way that's going to attack it is that that doll is going to go south. And let's go take a look at the platinum market See for a couple of tigers. They're asking, is it platinum? Bottom jet platinum. Come on, give me that uh, platinum spot. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so we're at 917. You're up 23 bucks today. Let's see what we got here. It's the spot market. Yeah, well, you rejected lower price coming into the lower end of it, you know. So now, bottom line is that yeah, I, I can I can picture platinum once again going for the thousand fifteen. That's what that's what it looks like. That's how it looks like this is shaking out. Let me see if I can get PPLT. That's this, the ETF for this. So if we take a look at the PPLT, that's trading eighty four twenty eight. Yeah, that's a good setup. Yeah. So this came down, didn't get to the swing low, had volume behind the move, goes higher. Yeah, once the other side of the consolidation now. That's how this is set up. And then if we go into the silver market and take a look at silver. And the last move, when we were doing the last move with uh, gold too, by the way, silver didn't perform. 
you know, a di different animal altogether. So you can see with, with silver, we're trading at this uh, 22.92 level. You know, it didn't, it, it came down to the lows of, our, not the low of October and September, but pretty close to it. You're not getting much volatility out here, but it has, it has a lot of work to do. And it's all about this right here, if we bring this over. And my, my take on the dollar is that we're going a lot lower, but this is being stubborn. There's no two ways about it. You know, right now you're at the 103, 441. If we take this and we put this just on a monthly so you can see how this is set up, you know, this is, this is the area that, you know, it should bounce because you can see when you're going back years, same deal. You're running into the highs, and that's what's saving this right now. Once we get under... You know, the, the 100, and once you really get under the 100.50, um, you get action. We've made it once. We've only made it once. We made it uh, six, eight months ago. You get under it and rejected it. We almost got to it last month, didn't quite make it. You get to that level, then you're talking that it opens up that whole area for the bottom of the consolidation. And if we are the first ones that start cutting rates, meaning the Fed, and the Fed seems to be ahead of everyone in the world right now, um, that, that will be exactly where that dollar will want to go. You know, because it's all about interest rate structure, what you can make on the money, and if we go over to the euro, you're going to see when we take a look at the euro, you're going to see just the opposite effect inside this chart. It's like, okay, this has been vacillating around the 103, the 108 area, yet if we put this on a longer basis, you're going to see the same type of deal, that you're running into heavy resistance here. You know, it hasn't made this over this level for four nine months and that level let's take a look at that level what was that level come on give me that there we are right there oh see this one gets interesting too that that this did make the the spike did make this 0.618 now what's really cool here is on the euro because we did make the 0.618 retracements right and this is this is the stuff you have to remember fucking folks going forward okay because what it is, is this. The euro made the 0.618 retracement of its down move, right? So that says that if I'm correct in the assessment that I think the euro is going to go lower, the dollar is going to, no, the euro is going to go higher. Yeah, because the dollar is going to go lower. Interesting. Yeah, no, that's what I'm looking at. Okay. So I, what I was just going to, I was going to explain that there's no way you're going to break the lows, but we already did the 0.618. So now what I got to do is this. Yeah, this is getting interesting. Now, let me do this. I got to bring this closer. Let's do it that way. And then, so now we look at, as to the, yeah, see that? Now, when you, take, when you change that and say, okay, now tell me what the Fibonacci level is from the lows to the highs, you can see that the aspect is you only pull back just over a 0.382. So pulling back just over a 0.382 is saying it's strong, so that is saying that the euro is going to have a shot to go to go hit the 0.618 again, and then if I take this, yeah, the the top of that range is like the 123. That's kind of how this is set, this is basically set up right now. So, and that's what's going to rule the market. And thus far, hey, thus far you can see for the amount of rally that we have actually had since last October. And that this market can't sell off, you know, the longer that you can't sell off, the higher the probability is that you're going to go higher. And I forgot what the demographic, uh, what the statistic is for the end of January. But there's a statistic that uh, if you're up in January, I don't know how much you have to be up, but then you're going to be up for the, for the year. Dow, Dow Industrials up 62, NASDAQ down 56, S&P's up five and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 50, uh, up 50. NASDAQ uh, down 60. SPs. Uh, off seven and a half. And if we take a look at the, the volume characteristics out here today, what you're going to have, you're going to have light volume and a pullback. Okay, so right now you're at 447. That, that'll get up to 850 or something, but we did 978. So that's on the NYSE. And then if we go to the NASDAQ composite, you're at, you're only at 4 billion. That's pretty wild, man. Let me pull this back. We'll get to 4.5 or something, but that is really light volume, man. Yeah, and the composite's down 60, 61, but that is light volume in an extraordinary way. Let me see what the Qs are doing. There's just no, there's not a lot of sellers in this marketplace. Yeah, the, Q, the Qs, same deal. The Qs are backing down with light volume. You know, we made a high out here with 46 million. You're backing down with 33 million. And, and I'm not even talking about what you're coming into because you're coming into some big strength inside of the queues because of the way they were uh, basically uh, a week ago Monday, you know, uh, not last Friday, the, the last Thursday. No, uh, a full seven trading days ago, let's put it that way. <laughs> um, so that's still a market you want higher price. And what we will have, let's see. So we're going to be coming into, when's Amazon coming out with numbers? Yeah, so next week's going to start. They're going to start this baby off, man. Um, 
you know, Amazon's the first, Apple is the first, Google is the 30th. Yeah, so you're going to have these big tech hounds out here uh, next week, and, you know, the way that they've been running, they're going to have to be coming in with uh, some numbers, but it looks to me like they, they're going to come in with the numbers. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks.